So we got official news today of something that we for a while thought was going to happen and I guess had kind of been waiting to see the news official. And that is a football game next season, the 2025 season, between Ole Miss and Southern Cal is now officially off. Uh, Michael Katz reported earlier today on X, Ole Miss's home-and-home football matchups against USC have been canceled. A.D. Keith Carter tells me. Michael Katz, of course, uh, covers Ole Miss for the Daily Journal. Not surprising, but still kind of bummer, right? I mean, we have not seen very many intersectional matchups like this with Mississippi State or Ole Miss through the years. And this is one that's been on the schedule for a long time and people have been looking forward to for a long time because it's a unique trip, a unique matchup. I mean, the last game that was even, it's not fair to say was even close to this because Southern Cal and Cal are not remotely the same thing. But the last big road trip where people planned a long time in advance to make it was Ole Miss's trip to Berkeley. And that was Phil Longo was the offensive coordinator. That's right. That was uh, Shea Patterson. What year was that? It should be 2017, I believe. Okay. Good grief. That's been seven years ago. So, yeah, it's been a while. And people would, I think, still enjoy those trips. Um. I don't know if this is equal parts Ole Miss and Southern Cal on the cancellation. I did talk to someone who said Southern Cal has done this with three or four of their future non-conference games. And so it sounds more like it's Southern Cal. I don't know that it's a terrible thing for Ole Miss in terms of winning and losing. That's good. Ole Miss's team going into the 2025 season is going to look a lot different than the team going into the 2024 season. It's not to say that they won't rebuild and have lots of portal acquisitions and be just fine at quarterback and all that stuff, but they're not going to have a third-year starter returning at quarterback. We know that much for certain. So what do you guys make of this? No Ole Miss Southern Cal in the Coliseum in 2025 and no return trip. Was it 27 when Southern Cal was coming out? It was 26. I thought it was. I think it was back to back. One after the other. Okay. Okay. No, it it sucks is what it does. And, And I understand because, you know, I've had back and forth with people about it today. And I understand the argument of. Well, the SEC, or at least people around the league, expect the nine-conference game thing to happen. Uh, do they? I, I guess they do. Um, and apparently, Keith Carter said as much uh, on at least one of the road trip stops uh, that the anticipation of going to nine is going to lead to a lot of cancellations of home and home matchups like this. And so, so if that is what people anticipate. I understand the the goal is to make the playoff and next year they would have two power five power four uh, teams on their schedule with Wake Forest making the return trip after uh, this year. So from that perspective, I understand the argument. I get what you're saying. You want the easier schedule because if you win enough games, you're making the playoff and that's the goal to make the playoff. I, I, I understand that. But this is was. Such a cool, marquee home-and-home that, as you said, you don't get very often. This doesn't happen very much. It's Look at the future schedules or the past. It's Wake Forest. It's, you know, Minnesota, Purdue. That's who's been the the home-and-home. Almost got Texas, and how amazing was that? Uh, Now, Texas being in the SEC, you'll get that often. But this is Southern Cal. One of the big time iconic brands of the sport. Borky, the the home and home with Texas was the only 
marquee home and home non conference matchup of my lifetime. It's the only one. I'll be 44 in November. Ole Miss did a home and home with a Wyoming. That's not marquee. They did a home and home with Texas Tech. They've done a home and home with Wake Forest. And now for a second time, Georgia Tech recently. Home and home with Georgia Tech. Home and home with Cal. This well, is. Maybe there's one that I'm forgetting. But none of those are Southern Cal. No, this is. Except Texas. This is a big. This is one of the iconic brands of the sport. Next year, they would have opened the season in one of the most iconic venues in America. Not in college football. The Coliseum, man, is one of those places. And seeing your in, team. In American sports history. In American sports history. Think of all the things that have happened in that venue. And then they would have turned around and come back to your place. And it would have been one of those weekends that people would talk about a decade later. And, and instead, it's either going to be replaced by an extra SEC game, which is exciting i guess but you, you see everybody in the sec already so it's not new or georgia southern or whoever it's it, it's not it's a disservice to your fans because this would have been an iconic brand an iconic team coming to your stadium and that would have been an epic weekend unlike many other and on top of that it strikes me as kind of soft Oh, got to make the schedule easier to make the playoff. What what kind of program are you? Georgia has no problem playing Clemson this year. Alabama has no problem going to Madison, Wisconsin. Are you uh, moving up a tier as a program or not? Then don't be afraid to play USC. Lincoln Riley's well, USC again, of all things. Yeah, yeah, but but again. What was this an Ole Miss decision? Was it a Southern Cal decision, or was it a mutual decision? I think we'll get some some insight on that in the coming weeks as you look around the conference. You know, does Mississippi State cancel some of its games with with Minnesota and with with uh, Texas Tech? Not marquee matchups the same way that this was, but if they you start seeing other schools around the conference canceling those Power Five conference games it's a good indication that that Ole Miss probably did this at the behest of the conference because they were going to tell them, look you're going to play nine games we're not going to require a power five out of conference any longer and you can you know give yourself an easier track to bowl eligibility and possible playoff berths somebody mentioned Ole Miss against BYU that was a one-off yeah BYU came Ole to Oxford Ole that's Miss not, did not make a return trip to Provo that's not this it's not that's not no, USC no 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 um, nothing. That's, that's nothing close to, to this at all. Yeah. What is it for State? Is the Oregon home and home? The, in terms of the, the most high profile? Yeah, in the, in the past. Like in, in yeah, terms Oregon. Of, they like played Texas you know, early in Jackie Sherrill's tenure, obviously. Um, yeah, Oregon would be, would be when they played West Virginia at the height of West Virginia. And you know, I don't know. That's not not a great series, but that was that's that's your Pat White, Steve Slayton, West Virginia teams. Um, yeah, yeah, that would be it for sure. I'm curious. Do you guys still think it makes sense for the SEC to go to nine conference games? Only if the teams will get paid a lot more money. Yeah, it feels like it should be a money thing because it's certainly not hurting them. It's not keeping teams out of the playoffs right now. Yeah, and, and I feel like I've, just, I've changed on this. I mean, I was, yeah, let's play nine. Hey, well, let's play ten, because that sure was a lot of fun during that. It's about the only fun thing I remember from 2020 was every game was a conference game, and there were cool opponents every week, and the buildup to them was great. But, like, I just don't know what the need for it is in this climate, especially as you go to a 12-team playoff. And, you know, just from a fan fun perspective, entertainment perspective, is another conference game more fun than some of these out of conference matchups? You know, as a Mississippi State fan, you know, I know that State's going to go to Oklahoma in a couple of years, right? And then that's going to become a kind of a regular thing. Uh, you know, going to Gainesville and things like that. That's fine. Like, State's scheduled to play at Minnesota in a couple of years. I mean, wh what else would I ever go to Minnesota for? So, I mean, is that 
Is that something that is cooler? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Yeah, because if they go to nine and then get rid of the Power Five requirement, then they're not going to. Nobody's playing. I mean, the, the, the elite schools are playing. Alabama, Georgia, Texas, mm-hmm. they'll continue to play them, but State will get out of that business as quickly as possible, and it'll be Sun Belt, MAC, FCS. Exactly. So, you know, canceling the USC game because the possibility of them going to nine conference games. Oh, great! Then it's Missouri instead of USC. Ooh, that's that's definitely a one for one trade. Well, but now let's not pretend like conference games don't feel different than non-conference games. They do, but when it's a non-conference game against Southern Cal, that's different. The Ole Miss is playing the Citadel next year. The Citadel. I mean, I mean that, that, that. Yeah, Ole Miss's future non-conference schedule, uh, not great. So next year, the Citadel, Wake Forest at home, Tulane at home. So all three of those at home. 2026 at Charlotte, Georgia State, Eastern Kentucky. Yeah, I mean, come on. I mean, what is what is state what is state schedule this year, if not for Arizona State, Eastern Kentucky, Toledo, UMass? Gross, yeah. terrible. It's gross. Yeah. And I it get look, people like easy wins. It's part of it. The these these lesser programs. They, they don't like the money. They need the money from these buy games. They, they serve a purpose. They, they have value. You know, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm off base because I have friends that are like, I don't care, just try to make the playoff every year. But I, I feel like you're doing a disservice to fans when you have the opportunity to play a USC in Oregon uh, in Ohio State, if that opportunity presents itself, a Florida State, a Clemson. Because if you it's stop- an event. Right. Exactly. It's an event. Ole Miss at Texas. Texas at Ole Miss. That was an event. And it was really, really fun. Now, Ole Miss got the brake speed off of them in Oxford, but then they made the return trip to Austin and won. And that was really cool. But you don't always get that, obviously. Yeah, you don't get those opportunities very often. And I think that's probably the I mean, yes, I – when it comes down to it, boy, we, we talked about this a second ago. Who was it? Did Ole Miss cancel it? Did Southern Miss can, or, uh, Southern Cal cancel it? I mean, I get the impression that it was mutual-ish. Southern Cal already playing a nine-game schedule plus Notre Dame, a nine-game conference schedule plus Notre Dame. Um, Ole Miss, will they be at eight? Will they be at nine? Not really sure. And yeah, fine, whatever. You really want to cancel it, we'll go along with it, I, and, I guess. And if you believe the reporting about the LSU game, one plus one equals two. Also, Lincoln Riley has shown in the past that he's not afraid to be afraid. Not afraid to be afraid. Yeah. Well, I mean, he wants to take as many landmines off of his schedule as possible. Yeah. He's already in two years lost more than Southern Cal fans thought he was going to lose. The Big 12 was really down when Oklahoma was running through it. It's a different league now. It is. And they're not in it. Yeah. Wait, oh, you're talking about, yes, yeah, 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 with Lincoln Riley. was the When he was at team. Oklahoma and they, they had that, that run of success, uh, the, the league was down. I mean, it was really, really down. Their Texas was down. I mean, Baylor had a couple good years there, but generally the Big Ten was really weak, and then they would get to the playoff, and with the exception of Baker's magic against Georgia in the Rose Bowl, the other playoff appearances, those handful, they got smoked in all of them.